everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a birdhouse for Carolina wrens. Carolina wrens are a great bird to have around the garden, as the many species of insects and bugs that plague our vegetables. Let me show you how I made this birdhouse for them and how to install it. Let's get into the video. So first, you need to get your board. You can use pine or cedar. Here I'm going to be using pine, but cedar lasts longer, but is more expensive. So the plan can be found online at nestwatch.com, provided by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, which this uh, link can be found in the video description below. Once you've marked all the boards, you want to use a square in order to get straight lines to make it easy to cut. Since this is a six foot board, you can make two Carolina wren houses out of one board. Then cut the board with whatever tool you choose to use. I use a jigsaw here, but there's many other good wood cutting tools that you can use. So first you want to start with the bottom of the birdhouse. Then take one of the sides, I usually prefer to install the back first, and line it up properly. Installing the back first really helps line up the rest of the birdhouse. Also make sure to always use a, a pilot hole before screwing in the birdhouse together. This will prevent the wood from splitting. I'm going to be using one and a quarter inch number six wood screws here, but use whatever screws you prefer. Then screw the bottom to the back. Once you've done that, turn the birdhouse to one side so that you can install it. Repeat the process for this side as well as the other side. Now you should have the back, two sides, and the floor of the birdhouse. Turn it to the front and screw it in. Then flip it up and then screw the roof into place. You should now be finished constructing the Carolina rent house and especially if you use pine wood you should treat it with something just on the outside to keep it from deteriorating. Now let's go over some spots where you should install your Carolina Wren nest box. In your garden is a great option, as they eat many species of insects and bugs. Carolina wrens also like to hang out near dense vegetation, so if you have any of those plants in your yard, putting it there can be a good option. Carolina wrens in the woods like to hang out near areas with lots of leaf litter, as this can be where they can find their insects to eat. I'm going to be putting it in this area of my yard, as they have woods nearby where they can find their insects, and close dense vegetation for, their, for them to hide from hawks when near. So the tools you'll need to install this birdhouse is a post hole digger and a shovel. This design is very similar to another video I have on my YouTube channel uh, titled How to Install a Birdhouse for Flickers. You'll need a 5 foot section of EMT conduit for this build. I'm going to be using half inch because it's the cheapest but you can also use 3 quarters of an inch. Then you'll need your Carolina Wren birdhouse, some EMT conduit straps and clamps, as well as a handful of 3 quarter inch screws to hold it together. You will also need a, a small board, the size doesn't really matter too much, and this will be the anchor for the birdhouse. Take your section of EMT conduit 
and using the EMT clamps or the EMT straps, um, secure them to the wood. Then set this aside for the time being. Next, on the back of your birdhouse, install the two EMT conduit clamps to the back of it. This will hold the Carolina Wren birdhouse to its pole. Next, dig the hole where your birdhouse will go. It's important that this hole is dug deep so that the birdhouse doesn't fall over. Then, set the pole into the hole and bury it. Once the pole is in place, use your foot to pat the soil down around the bar. Holes should now look like this. It should be firmly secured in the ground so it won't fall over. Then, attach the Carolina Wren using the empty conduit clamps to the pole. Then, spin it around in the direction you choose. Carolina Wrens generally prefer their houses to face east, but this is up to you. And there you should have it a completed Carolina Wren nest box. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a comment if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching!